Hello friends, welcome to Lords Gamer Zero One. Today we are going to select our Guild Fest rewards, and I will let you guys know that which rewards you should select and which you should not pick. As a free to player, you should consider that the items which can either be bought or can be taken through the in-game events, we should select those. So let's start. These are our rewards. Out of three options, we can choose one. Let's start with the first one. As you can see, we can either have Griffon chests or Nocero's chests or 300 diamonds. I will go for the chests. Here you can select in the speed ups you should uh, be able to know that which speed up can help you more in boosting your turf overall boosts so that is research always prefer research again we have for the free to players we have here war tombs we have research and we have mega chest so if you are a F2B player, you would select this war tombs. But I am here going to select this mega chests because chests are rare. We should always select them if we have the opportunity. You can see that I am preferring the chests over the speed ups. Here I don't have much option then I will better select the speed ups. Here I will definitely choose the slayer chest because it can only be bought through the mall or you can get through in game events. So slayer chest is the best option if it's available. Again I will go for the chest. So one should prefer chests more than the speed ups that is the trick now i have two options either i can go for 20 or 4 hour research speed up but if you are f to b you should go for the steel cuffs but today i am going for the hearts if you have two jewels one is defense and the other is attack jewel you will always try to select the attack jewel but it will help you more here you have Gorilla Chest and Continuum Chest. These both are useful. Again, we have the Slayer Chest. So, if you see this Slayer Chest anywhere, you will just close your eyes and pick it up. So, among these three, you will prefer the Gurdon Twin Chest. Now I will go for the chests. Well, 6 into 4 is equal to 2400 joules diamonds. And here we are going to get the research. So in comparison to these, this is more profitable. Again. We have slayer chests, so always pick those. Now you can either go for the diamonds or you can go for the holy stars. 4000 holy stars will almost give you some 2000 jewels, so prefer them. Here you have the pets. So I will prefer you to go for the packs rather than going for the diamonds. Again I will prefer to go towards the packs because these are those items which can either be bought through the mall or you can get through the in game events. So always prefer those things. Never go for the speed ups or the diamonds or jewels. Now here you have the opportunity to either select this or correct on because these are also the rarest items you have to buy in the game. As these are just 44 so I will prefer 
to have 24 hours research and then those 44 so i'm going to select these rewards and let's build fast now let's open the chest what we have got through the gf and let's see what we have got you can see i have got one rare curse slab just two forbidden tome but i have got two nothing impressive. just one glowing guy common that is very just one hunter's flame although i have got each pair in the epic but the main thing is hunter's flame that is only one corner just two cross strip toxins today my luck is not on my side i suppose just to going into i to common oh that's good chests are more important in the long run you have to make your mythic equipment you have to forge your own gears so in that regard your chests are an important part so always keep the speed ups always keep those whatever of juice you are offered if you have enough chests to deal with so thank you very much always subscribe my channel and keep watching i will bring you all the new updates Thank you very much.